Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrea's Attic. This is an adult's hobby channel, which mostly focusing at the moment on, excuse me, something's falling off the table, colouring and diamond painting, mostly colouring. Um, so if you're under 18, please click off now. This is you, we do talk about adult things and show some um, horror pictures and gruesome stuff. Although I gotta be honest, when I was 14, 15, I was watching 18 rated films. Anyway, I was trying to record before and it didn't record. And all I was saying is we're just doing these candy canes, so. And then it shut itself off for some reason, so I've had to start again. So, you've just missed that bit. So I'm doing the candy canes. So first of all, I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. We are now over the 600 mark. We're moving upwards and onwards and upwards, and I'm very pleased with that. So if you're new to the, the channel, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And we are really starting to hurtle towards the 1000 mark which is very happy for making me very happy so one of my previous videos was a diamond painting video and somebody said that they would like to see more of it so i will show you a bit more of that in the next day or so i have obviously done a bit more because it's a very long drawn out process and i've never done it before so i'm very 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 slow at <laughs> it so you might hear Jennifer upstairs chatting or grizzling. She's not been very well. So, see, now that one's odd as well. I don't know why that happens. Sometimes I get, like, there's two here that have got things and two that have got red bottoms, two that have got white bottoms, and I've got one red and one white. I hate it when they don't make these things even. Sorry, I'm moaning. It just really annoys me because I start up here and I work my way around and then it's not the same on both sides which is so annoying so yes I will be doing some more diamond painting once I've done this one I am going to order myself a, a very large Marilyn Monroe one um, once I find the picture I want I, I think I know which one I want to do and then I'm going to do some smaller ones because that'll be a really big one um, Disney ones for Jennifer's room get them framed and popped up on her wall and then I might do an Elvis one for mum but uh, yeah, I'm doing uh, the rough collies for mum because she loves rough collies. So. so yeah, she's grizzling upstairs. I'm going to have another sleepless night by the sound of it. She wasn't well on the weekend. Yet today, bless her heart, she went wanted to go up to bed on her own. She was like... I was playing with her and I said, do you want me to change your nappy? And she was like, no, not really. You know, shaking her head. And then I went to get ready to get her ready and I thought I'll go get her a baby go get her ready for bed this was about quarter past seven now normally she's in bed about half seven but she you know she should probably be in bed early but she sleeps till gone six some some days in the afternoon and she walked to the stairs and and tried to climb up the first stair on her own she does go up the stairs on her own but usually with me behind and she's just waited and looked at me for her to, to go and join her so bless Bless her little cotton socks. It was very sweet that she um, wanted to wait for me to uh, take her upstairs. Now she's just going to grizzle all night and drive me up the wall. Bless. She's okay. She's just, she's overtired again and she fell asleep in the cot in her, her travel cot which is in the living room which we use it as a playpen so when I'm cooking or when we're cleaning we put music on and we just put her in there and she plays with her toys or dances to the music or goes to sleep and I put her in there because I had to go and get something from the shed and I was uh, making a phone call I had a phone call to make and um, she had up with her um, a Christmas chocolate thing from dad's tree and she was eating it quite happily and then she was playing so I thought oh she's out all that that's fine I never noticed what she'd done with it but apparently she dropped it and hadn't finished it and then oh lover she fell asleep on it and when she woke up she was covered in chocolate it was in her hair it was up her nose I had to give her a good good old sponge down poor kid she's a dafty but oh so sweet with it so yes <laughs> she's 
She's so, so funny. I still haven't got my Christmas tree up. I was going to do it tonight, but I was so surprised when she went up to bed that I just sat down and had a piece of cake. <laughs> it, the, the decorations are in the spare room. They are out of the attic, so tomorrow night when she goes to bed, I'll get Paul to bring them down and then I'll put them up straight away. Yeah, we'll get her to bed and then I'll just do it. It'll only take me about 40 minutes to get it up. I'm not putting up tons of decorations. I never do. So... quite like straight colour in this. I mean, I'm glad I'm straight colouring because I've got to be honest, I haven't actually done that many pictures this this month yet. I haven't. Um, I'm going to do candy cane colours around the door as well. Um, I've done, I've finished four so far. So, and I've nearly finished another one. And then there's this one. And I'm not going to start any more while well, I say that, but it doesn't mean to say I will. Because <laughs> um, I want to finish up the one from Seasons and A Whimsy Girl's Christmas, and that one is massive. So I might try and do that one. So I'm going to finish off the one I'm doing, which is in... What book is that in? Oh, Entangled Christmas. I've only got a little bit to do. So I'm going to try and finish that one off, and then... When I finish that one, I'm going to go and do... Oh dear, she's chatting away. The Seasons book. I'm going to try and finish that one. And then the one in Whimsy Girls Christmas. Now, I will happily colour these Christmas ones until the end of December if necessary. Because um, I've got to be honest, I'm just buying colouring books. They're coming out of my ears. I really don't need another colouring book. Especially any more Christmas ones. I have no one today. Well, I want Christmas. It's a winter one, so... I've got to stop because I know I'm going to get them. I think I've got 10 colouring books this month already and I know I'm going to get at least one for Christmas and I've got my Colour in Heaven subscription so I can actually stop buying them for a bit now. Yeah. So like I said, in the new year I do want to get the Clara Markova books. But they are quite, they're 30 quid each, that's a lot. Now I know that if we get a works bonus I will get one <laughs> With that, I will split the money in half and spend half of it and save half of it, which is a sensible thing to do. I might even save more. But I will buy one of the Car Clara Markova books and I might buy another diamond painting kit, depending. I might not. I might get two of the Clara Markovas. I don't know yet. Oh, dear. She is chattering away. In... She wanted to go to bed. It wasn't my idea. So, we've only been going eight minutes. Feels like longer, but that's just because of the issues I had with the camera. Right, I'm going to do some of this snowflake now in the middle. I'm going to use this uh, nice sort of icy blue that came in a new set of, of colours. Have you seen? I've been using a couple of them. I've been using the red. I've used the gold before now. I've used the dark green. I've used the pink and the per pink one, and I'm going to use the silver and the blue on the snowflake. So let's have a look. So hopefully, oh that's a nice blue. Now yes, you could say, oh why are you doing it a bright blue? It's because it, it, there is no wrong or right with colouring. I shall probably put some, uh... oh dear. Winker Stella on all of this anyway. I might, I might not, it's glitter gel pen so I don't really need to. There's plenty of glitter on it, there's already glitter on it already. So. So I know the colouring pencils from Anthem came. They'll go with the subscription because I've seen, seen the name of the company on the packet. But they were, I think I mentioned they were supposed to be Faber-Castell gold fibers, but they're not. They're something of an equi equivalent value. I have no idea. So they're supposed to be worth $24.99 or something. But we'll find out when we get there. Oh dear, that little girl. She's so good though. To literally go to bed on her own or want to. I literally hadn't even got her changed into her night stuff. I did it upstairs. I'm assuming you're all ready for Christmas. I mean, obviously I'm not, I haven't wrapped anything up yet. I haven't bought any cards. I haven't wrapped any cards, written any cards. Um, 
I've got most of the items. I just need one more for Dad's birthday, and other than that, I'm done. I'm pretty sure everything's arrived. I think. I don't think there's anything else to come. Oh no, there is one thing to come that's going to come towards the end of the the week. And that's fine. But that's something for my dad. So, but that's for my dad to pay for. It was, it was something he wanted. He couldn't couldn't haven't seen them around this year so I got him some from Amazon and that was orange lemon jelly slices you usually see them everywhere really cheap but I haven't seen them anywhere so I ordered four boxes on Amazon for him same with um, rose and lemon Turkish light I haven't seen it anywhere this year so I ordered it on Amazon instead so I'll probably start wrapping presents on Friday because Paul's going to see a band called Alterbridge now, I've, I think he's seen them before, I, th I know he's seen them before, but they have a new album out and that's why they're touring, so he's, he's got the album he's going to come under. See them with his friend. So I will have a nice warm stew, which my mum made. She makes a lovely stew and then she freezes it for me. Um, so I will have that and I'll wait until Jennifer's gone to bed though, so it'll be about 8 o'clock for my tea. Um, just because if I'm eating, she won't leave me alone unless I have it at the same time as her. And, and sometimes we do. And I could do it, but it's such a big bowl of food that it's easy to do it when I'm on my own rather than with her. I've got a lighter glitter blue. In fact, I've got one in there as well. I'll have a look, see what I've got. So, I'll do some more. Well, I do like that. So we got a slow cooker. We bought one the other day ready because I want to start batch cooking some foods and freezing stuff. So it makes life easier for me and Paul in the evenings. So I can just do a load of cooking on, on a Saturday or even put like a full portion of dinner on, on on a day and then just we'll have three, well, we'll have three portions because Jennifer will have some and then the other one will go in the freezer and then I'll batch cook another load up and and so on. I'm not sure whether it serves three or four. I'm going to have to uh, find out. But so we got that ready to use. Got a got a bit of a headache right now, and the headache's getting worse again. So it's just sinusitis, which I do suffer from, sadly. That's why I like to sit and relax in colour of an evening. I turn the TV off and then just sit in colour. Or even just have it on in the background. So usually if there's football and it's on in the background, Paul watches the football and I just sit and have a bit of a colour. So Wednesday, I got Wednesday off work and my brother's home from New Zealand. So he goes to see his pensions advisor. Um, in Bristol over at Aztec West and for the last few years I've driven him because he's now in New Zealand he doesn't have a car over here he's not insured and it costs a bloody fortune so uh, my dad was driving him at one point and then he couldn't for some reason I can't remember why so I took him and I think I've done it three years now this will be year four and basically I should leave Jennifer at Nana's and Grandad's she'll play with them We'll go over to Aztec West. He'll go and meet his pensions advisor. I'll go and sit in Starbucks while he's there for a good hour. I'll have a cup of tea, have hot chocolate and a cake. It's one of my Christmassy treats. And I've got my phone with it. I've got 10 gig, gig of data, which I never use up in my contract so I shall sit there and I can watch some YouTube videos or I can listen to an audiobook but I will do one or two of those things. Ooh look she's sitting on one of these snowflake spikes. It's a bit freaky isn't it? So I don't think this will be a very long one. This is going a lot quicker than the last one. The last one took ages to just to get those gingerbreads done. And the trees, didn't we? We did the trees and the gingerbread. Today we've done all the candy canes and the candy cane pattern around the door. 
And now we're doing the snowflakes. So I am looking forward to Christmas. It's just, there's so much to do. I've got to tidy up this living room and hoover. Because his mum's coming around. If it was just us, I would, we wouldn't, we would tidy up, but we wouldn't worry too much about the fact that there's a load of my stock stuff under the table, so I need to get shot off. Have I got a really nice light glittery blue? I have actually. The thing I like about this um, script tract set from there, there's lots of different colours. And there's a very light one here. I've used this one by the look of it because there's not a lot of it left. So I'm going to put this one in here. I will definitely order these again. It's the only problem with being left-handed, you tend to smudge things. I would definitely order this pack again and the 10 pack I've got. I don't think I'd bother with the works, but I think I used up all the colours I really like, so I can't really tell. But the Lidl's ones were one of my favourites. I'd certainly buy them again if I saw them in the shop. I don't know what brand they were, I just picked them up when they had them. So, oh, glitter gel pens, I need some of them. The gel pens in general, I can't even remember how many were in the packet, but they were really nice. So I thought, oh, I'll have those. Yes, please. I like all these blues. colours to do. Because I'm not one of those people that generally plans out what they do. I just look at a page and think, right, I'm going to do that colour, I'm going to do that colour. And I just do it. I don't plan. I just like to see where it takes me. Um, I'm going to do this bit as well in this one. I do like these glitter pens. Oops. So. I hope everybody's having a lovely holiday season and got everything, all their decorations up and their parcels wrapped and their Christmas cards sent. I don't do Christmas cards other than for immediate family. I never actually have really. It's just too much. God, we're supposed to be having a buffet on Friday at work. I've got to give girl the money. I've only got two pounds. She'll have to have a note. I've only got ten or twenty quid on me. I'm not sure what I've got anymore. I might have a fiver. She'll have that and then give me the change, I guess. I'll see you tomorrow and make sure I give it to her. Thing. Here we go, kid. We are famous on recruitment for our buffets. We really are famous for our buffets. Yeah. I like that, it looks nice. <laughs> Excuse me, I still got a bit of a cough and a cold. It's terrible. To get this done as quick as I can, I might do some of this off camera, but I might not because just because I've got so many other whips to finish. I thought, oh, would you like to see me finish? Uh, say, for instance, do you, do you want to see me do the mice from Seasons on camera, or do you want to see me do Whimsy Girls Christmas? What's left of it? Well, there's quite a lot left of it actually, but the bits I haven't done. Do you want to see that? Let me know. Or do you want to see me finish this one off? It's entirely up to you. You just. Uh, Leave me a comment and I will crack on with whatever you suggest. If you want to see me just finish this one, I'll just continue to film this one till it's done. I just don't know how many more videos going to take. This has taken nearly 20 minutes and there's still a fair bit to do. I am definitely going to finish the snowflake today.
So, and the surrounds of the snowflake. Because I was gonna leave it white, but I'm gonna actually do that silver. I'm gonna another blue in there, and then I'm gonna do the rest of it silver. And we'll see. Oops, that's good, because silver will cover that bit anyway. I can't be honest, one good thing about Christmas is you can break out the glitter gel pens and nobody will mind. <laughs> There's glitter everywhere. So, so we decided we're only going to have one holiday um, next year, which is Kiln Park. We're not going to go to Ten Tenerife like we thought, or anywhere else. And the reason for that is we really want to save some money so we can get our this area of the house finished. So. We've got a divided living room, so originally it would have been a living room and a dining room and they would have had separate doors. Now it's all one open plan room, except for really there is a sort of dividing section, it's not a wall, um, it's not a complete wall. So you could put sliding doors there, it's one of the things we were thinking of doing is putting like um, concertina doors so that you could separate the two should you wish to, which is something we might want to do when Jennifer gets a bit older and starts playing with the CDs again and the records. Um, and we've only done the other half, which is where we watch TV. So like what we call the viewing zone is done, but the listening zone is not. And this is uh, where I'm sitting at the moment is the listening leading zone. So I think, I'm just gonna see what this color is. It's very similar to that one, isn't it? A bit, hmm. If it is, it doesn't matter. Um, so we want to get this done and next year we're going to get our it's a little bit darker but not much um our new turntable and speaker system for the record so we got a decent cd player although it's getting on a bit uh, so we need a decent turntable i got a record player but it's only an all-in-one which i love i love it it's going to go in once i um it's we've done this room i will put it upstairs in the bedroom and then when jennifer's old if she wants it she can have it or she can use it have it because it was a Christmas present from Paul um, and I don't use it all the time I can go months and months without listening to a record and which is a shame because I like listening to records but I've got such a backlog to listen to clean and haul on my other channel the vinyl vlog that oh I just haven't been bothering but I do want to start making vinyl vlog videos again next year um, I've got a few plans on what I'm going to do so I'll be making a channel update video. I might even do that tonight with no makeup. Once I've done this, because unless you are into vinyl, you're not gonna be watching the vinyl vlog. I mean, there are a few videos on there, mostly hauls. There were some I wanted to do and never got around to. I've still got two hauls to do, one of albums and one of, of singles. Um, but I'm planning a new series next year, hopefully, um, on re independent record shops in my area or wherever I may visit. So there's a few in the area. There's one in Cardiff I know of. There's two in Newport. One's in the market. One's up the hill. Let's use the silver from this bag of ten. I haven't used this silver yet from the uh, Link, are they called? Link Shine is what they're called. We're up to 23 minutes. Well, nearly 24. Um, so we're going to just colour around this. Oh, that's a nice silver. That's a really nice. I really do like these pens. They go on ever so smooth, but they do take a little while to dry. So I might not be doing much after this. I, there is a little bit I want to do with the green. I'm going to use the the link shine green around the edge of the trees but that looks nice that's a nice nice silver it doesn't look very silver at all up here it's more like brown. look how shiny this page is it's fantastic and I, I really do love this book now I believe color it I've got a new steampunk book out I'm sure I saw that somewhere on one of the YouTube channels 
Will I be getting it? I don't know. I'll have to have a look at a flip through to see what I think. Colour the decades I wanted because I like anything to do with the 50s, 60s and 80s and, you know, 70s I can take or leave, but that's just me. Um, so I wanted that and I do like it. I've only done the one in it. I will be doing more in that next year, I hope. And then, the obviously this Christmas one, I had to have the Christmas one. So I've got this one now. I'm just going to stop there and do this bit inside the snowflake. So, yeah. But yes, I'm sure I've seen that they've got a steampunk one out. So I will have to have a look at that. I haven't got the Hannah Lynn steampunk one. I've got the one from Colour in Heaven that features it. It's got 15 exclusive designs in it. So I might have to have a look at that at some point. Um, like I said, I am trying to colour my hoard, as they call it, and do one picture from each book. So I really shouldn't be colouring in this one because I'd already done one. I shouldn't be doing anything in Seasons because I've already done one in there. The rest of them, though, Oh, okay. So next year, plans are to keep colouring in uh, a new book every month, or more than one, and try and get all the books used so that they've all got at least a picture coloured in. We are going to have more colouring chats. We're going to have the complete colouring book collection. I dread to think how many there are now. Last count, it was about 146, and I've bought tons since then. Um... So we're still going to have, we're going to have a, a, all the pages I've ever coloured since, I think it was 2016 I started colouring again. Um, as well as our normal supply and book hauls. Um, they hopefully won't be every month because I won't be able to keep up with the colouring. And then we will, I still got to do my review of the fine liners I bought. WH Smith pencils I'm going to use um, in my next colouring chat which might be one of the colour in heaven, it might be um, a nice little Christmas colour in heaven. It still looks kind of brown, that silver, but it is very silver from where I am. Uh, so I'm going to use those up on that book, so that'll be that review. And I will do the fine liners when I can. I also might do a whip on Wednesday, which obviously won't be filmed on Wednesday, but it'll be up on Wednesday. And it'll be just me... It'll be a colouring chat, but it'll be me trying to finish my whips. Because I've got so... Well, I don't have so many. I hear of people who have 50 or 60 things on the go, and I'm like, no, I can't. I've got uh, one in my fairies book, I think. I've got the one in Dracula, which is the page, because I do it a page at a time, in order. I've got... Um, the one in Romantic Country 2, the second tale, the light, the Henry books, I still haven't finished that one. I haven't even done anything on it this month. Ah, uh, what else? I don't know. There's the one in uh, World of Flowers I still haven't finished because obviously everything's on hold for the Christmas colouring and the diamond painting. So you can see I've smudged that over her skirt, but once I can find, decide what colours I'm going to use, it won't. It won't matter. You'll cover it up. The gel pens are very forgiving and if you use another colour over the top of a smudge it, it's really good. And it's all down my hand. Look. Have you seen that? So, there you go. I am just going to finish this silver bit and I might call it a day then. Just because getting on. We've been going for, here we'll put some silver in there as well, 30 minutes so it's going to be near enough 40 by the time I finish all this silver work. I do try and keep them down to three episodes per picture because I think any more than three and it's a bit much but I don't know how much longer the rest of it's going to take. Now there's not a huge amount, obviously there's the, um, the biggest spaces of these big sort of like wheels. I'm going to do them orange and lemon 
like an orange and lemon um, jelly slices, I think, and the same with these ones in the wi in the windows. And I bet they're not even. I bet there's not enough to do every other one. All right, it stopped recording again, so I, I don't know how much of it, how long ago it stopped. I don't think it was long because I just looked at it. Um, I don't know why it does that. Always does it around the 30 minute mark. Maybe it's a 30 minute stop. Um, but I was saying I was going to do the wheels at the top as oranges and lemons. So. But I will do a bit more on this before the weekend. It's Monday tonight. You'll be seeing this on Tuesday. I'm currently averaging a video a day but that's just because I've had so many flip throughs I've done and of course I'm still posting the Tenerife vlogs. There's only two more of those and I've only got one more flip through after this and that's not, not a Christmas one so. Doesn't mean to say I won't post it because I probably will and it's not a book you'd see much of. I found it on Amazon. You've seen it hauled. I've done the flip through ages ago I just haven't posted it so it'll be on a day when I've got nothing else to share. Terrible in it. You think, oh, I've got nothing else to share, I need to post something. But because I've been doing so much flip throughs and I've done the diamond painting, it's been easy to post a lot, and that's probably why I'm getting so many subscribers because it's coming up a lot, and I'm happy to keep trying to put the work in to keep that momentum going. So, whether it's a weekly vlog, um, um, the Tenerife vlog, um, a, a cool video, um, a flip through, I mean, I've got some of those mandala books by that lady, Carmela Angel Cova. I've got four of her books now that I've bought in the month, so I might do some flip throughs of those, because flip throughs are easy to film. And they're just something nice to put out on a day when I'm not doing a colouring chat or a colouring diamond painting chat thing. But also I think they are worth having a look at. And it also gives me a chance to look at all the pictures too because I don't always look at all the pictures straight away. I get the book, I have a quick flip, literally flip through it and then I put it down and I'm like, well, okay, that's alright. And then... I don't look at it again for ages, but at least this way I can flip through it, see what it is. So I will probably film some of those shortly, because if I see a book that looks interesting, I'll look for a flip through so I can see the pictures to see if I do really like it. Um, and if I really like it, then I put it on my wish list or I put it in my Amazon cart ready. I mean, it's like with the... Um, the Kirby Rosanna's books, I love them, I think he's brilliant, Is, but they're so daunting that I didn't want to pay a lot of money for them. I got two of them for a fiver in the works, fiver each, um, and I was happy to pay a fiver. So the only ones I haven't got is the very first one, which was, is it Doodle Mania? And then Phantom Morphia and Geomorphia, I haven't got yet. I'm sure I will get them at some point though. But again, that's something we're going to have to tackle next year, scarily. But it might be just something I think, right, I'll take that down and I'll cuddle, cuddle? I'll colour in a few of the doodles. And just do like a few minutes on it, same as that's what I'm going to do with Henry Books in, or oh, I was planning to do and I haven't. But then I started this diamond painting thing, which takes forever. Because I'm putting out so many of these, you're going to hear a lot of the same information repeated. Because otherwise I am going to forget. It looks a bit dark really, doesn't it? I probably shouldn't have used this silver, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. It's darker than another, the other silvers, but it's still a nice colour. Maybe it'll dry a bit lighter because it's not dry yet. Like I said, this ink takes forever to dry. How are we doing? Oh, okay, we're all right. I think Jennifer's asleep now, can't hear her. And the thing is, you can't... I hate hearing her grizzling and, you know, 
But unless she's full on screaming, I've got to leave her otherwise she'll expect me every single time she's, she wants me. And nine times out of ten I'm happy to do that, but at night when I want to sleep, it's hard to know what to do. She's crying for a reason, but sometimes kids will just cry. So just figuring out, is this her needing me? And you can normally tell when she really needs you because of the type of cry it is. She'll wake up, she wakes up after a nap crying, not because she's hungry or because she's scared. It's just because she's woken up. It's like her mummy like that, I like sleeping as well. Right, that's the silver done. Hopefully it will dry a bit lighter, but if not, we'll just go over it with a white pen of the, what's it called? A wink of Stella variety. Um, it's, it's not bad silver. It looks better on the camera actually than I thought it would. Uh, that's that one, and then I was gonna use the dark green. So, we're just going to go around the outside of the trees. So we've got a dark, this is a lovely, look how beautiful that green is. I've also got a Wink of Stella green and a Wink of Stella red and oh my god they are stunning. I just don't know how to use them yet. I'm not sure what to use them on. I could use them on this but I'm a little bit afraid. Shh. So. If we can just do around the trees that gives us a little bit less to do in the next video. If you want to see the end of it, let me know. It's getting very warm in here. It's very cold out tonight. I had to go next door to pick up the Turkish Delight and something that my dad's bought my mum because I have to do all their ordering on online. And um, I mean, Chris do it between us, to be honest. Um, I went next door to get it because it had been delivered next door. And oh my god, it was freezing! It was freezing cold out there. I am dreading getting up in the morning. I'm half expecting the car to be completely frozen, and I'm gonna need the de icer. I'll check it when I get up, and if it's really bad. What I'll do is I'll get, when Paul gets up, I'll say, watch her. I've got to go out and sort the car out before we go out. Because it is, if it get, if it's really bad, I need to sit in the car and get it going. Yep. I like the way this is looking at. I'll show you what it looks like completely in a second once we've finished these trees. And then all we've got to do really is the tree decorations, the orange and lemon slices. We've got to decorate our gingerbread and then just do the gingerbread houses. That's okay, we can manage that. I hope. Yeah, these are nice pens. I'll have used them all up before I've even hauled them properly. That's okay. They were something like £2.39 for the 10. And as they are such nice pens, I will happily order these again. Because I find out the colours I like, I use up a lot. And that is generally red, because red's my favourite colour. And the red in there is absolutely stunning. And this green is stunning. And I quite like the gold, which I haven't actually used on anything yet, on this one. I probably will at some point, I just don't know what on yet. I'll probably use it on the tinsel and the baubles on the tree. So we've always got a red, lot of red on the candy canes, so... now so like I said I will just finish off these there's still quite a lot of them to go that's it there's a lot of them
I've gone very quiet. Yeah, it's good fun colouring. I know everybody likes, I know a lot of people at work who like to do it and they don't admit it generally. You know, they wouldn't come out and say, oh, I do this colouring, whereas me, I will. I was talking to one of our managers the other day and I said, right, and she said, oh yeah, I do like to have a bit of colour, it's so relaxing. I said, yeah, I, I do a lot of colouring and I make videos about it and post them on YouTube. And she was like, really? I go, yeah, I love doing it. We do colouring chats where we pick a picture in colour and we just generally chat about life, the universe and everything. We do book hauls and supply hauls. Um, there are tutorials reviews, flip-throughs of books. Uh, huh, I didn't do that bit with green. I don't know, I don't know what green I use now. I'll have to look back and find out which green it was and then I'll just fill it in. That's one thing about filming something, if you forget a colour you've used you can just go find the video and hopefully maybe find the green I don't know, I think it was from this pack I'm just not sure which one it was so I might have a look in a minute and then you'll see it done by the time you come back to the next video because this is getting really long very long and I know some people really like the long videos and other people don't. They just don't bother watching them or they click off of them. Um, it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm sitting colouring, I like a good long video if I'm watching videos in, and colouring. Because, oops, I just listen to the person chatting and then I look up at what they're doing. So the longer the better because I'm colouring. I don't have to go looking for someone else to watch. And be disturbed, you know? But if it's... Um, and if it's because if it's a really short one then I have to go and look for something else and I lose my colouring mojo, my flow, so to speak. But if I'm just, I mean sometimes I'm generally watching YouTube, I don't want to watch something that's 40, 50 an hour, minutes, minutes long. Although I might watch half of it and go back and watch the rest of it another time when I'm in the mood. And that's a good thing about YouTube, you can just go back, it will remember where you were in your history. And you can say, oh I didn't finish watching this, I'll go and see what, what happened in the rest of it. You know, she might have had an exploding gel pen and glitter might have gone everywhere. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's just things like that. Um, so I've been watching a lot of diamond painting ones which I'll talk about in the next video and some record ones. Yeah, we're getting there. Nearly done with this bit for today. I'm going to turn the heating off in a minute, go to the bathroom and get a drink because I've already let my uh, tea go cold once. There we are. Isn't that a gorgeous green? This one, the Link Shine. I don't know if you can really see how nice it is. Yeah, it's a really nice dark green. Sometimes I just don't know what colour I'm going to do things and I just think, I'll stick this round here and I'll stick this in here and oh, I missed a bit there and I think it's that light, it's not that light green, I think it's the next one up from the light green. I'll have a look in a minute, see if I can find it. Once I finish the video, ugh, it's a long old process, but I do enjoy it, it is relaxing and I like looking at the finished product, like so for instance I finished the Crayola one the other day, I think it was yesterday I finished the Crayola one and oh, it came out how I wanted it and I used something I wanted to use in the Hannah Carlson book <clears throat> and I used it on there just to see how it would look and I've used it in the books before but not for a long time and it looked how I wanted it too so I know I'm going to be alright using it in the Hannah Carlson book and I know at which colour it is I'm going to be using so that's all good, so it was worth using that to, uh, as a little experiment for that particular part of the picture. So I'm going to do the mice next, and then the baubles, and then the background. And then I'll be done. 
And again, the baubles, I will use glitter gel pens and Wing Castellafil in that book, I think. You'll hopefully see that at the end of the month. Because like I said, I'm going to finish um, Entangled Christmas tomorrow, I hope. And then I'll hit Seasons and then Whimsy Girl. I just don't like having tons and tons and tons and tons of colourings, whips. Um, I just don't, I'm one of those people who just don't, I know that there's some people have 30, 40, 50 whips in one go. I can't do it. I like to finish them. Um, sometimes it doesn't happen, like with um, the Romantic Country book, I haven't finished Henry's books. And it's because there's just so much to do on it, and it's so fiddly. And I haven't finished The Page in Dracula, because it's all so dark. And I'm like, oh, how am I going to do this without making it just look like there's nothing on the page apart from black? You know, shade it, you know, black and browns. Um, so it's things like that but that stop me. But I don't like to have more than... I think 10 at any one time and I'd prefer less so as you can see I made a bright pig's ear in that bit tree never mind but what I hopefully will do next year is get rid of some of those whips we'll do a whip on Wednesday show where I'll probably film it on Tuesday and you can see me finish one of my whips only thing is I won't finish the Christmas ones I'll put the Christmas ones away and we'll finish them in July for Christmas in July which is fine. There. That's all we're going to do today. So I'm just going to turn it the right way up. I am going to look for that green to try and fill in that gap. And we'll just uh, zoom it out and put it like that so you can see it. So it's very glittery, very blue and that. There's not a lot of red on it yet. So we must put some more red on. His hat will be red for a start. I might do the band on his hat red. I might do their bows red. And some more, yeah, so we need some more red. There's just not enough red, there's not enough gold. So that's what we'll be doing in the next episode of Finishing This One Off. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little colouring chat. It's gone on quite a long time. If you have, don't forget to leave me a comment below. Um, like the video because that helps YouTube like that. Their algorithm likes it. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And like I said, share this with your friends. And hit the notification bell. God, I'm asking you to do lots today, aren't I? Just enjoy the videos. But if you want to subscribe and hit the notification bell, I would really appreciate it. And I will see you all soon in the next one. Thanks now. Bye.